The image one in Apple Notes is supposed to improve our diagrams. So if I draw this really bad diagram of a house, I should be able to transform it to what I want. This is how I used to draw a house when I was eight. And all these years later, I still got it. Now, let's use the image one to see if it can transform my image to something better. Look at that. That's the best image I've got from this feature so far. I feel like I should save it, but it's not yet exactly what's in my head. So I will give the AI more details about the image I'm thinking of. I'm quite happy with this house, so I'm going to save it. But to edit your notes, tap done to save it to your notes in Apple Notes. And now I have the house in my notes. And notice how the app replaced the simple drawing I had earlier. I love that it does this seamlessly. I don't like the background on this, so let's remove that. And now it's perfect. It's like any other image that you add to the app, so you can resize and rotate it. This is great for an eight year old, but if I needed an image in my notes right now, it will probably be something more complicated than a simple brick house. So this time, let's get image one to do everything for me. So I'm not starting with anything. We're off to a good start. But as soon as I try to be more specific, we start getting some problems. This AI image generator does not process complicated instructions, which makes it less useful for productivity tasks. When there's an error, just undo to continue. Let's start from scratch, something different because this is not what I had in mind, but it's also not the worst. The worst experience I've had was trying to create an image of a cell. See what I mean? Each image generation gives you several variations, but in this case, all of them are inaccurate. It makes the feature a bit useless for serious work. But you can still share the images that you get. to any app on your device. You can also copy it to paste it anywhere. And with all your generations, you can still go back to fix or modify it.
even for images you bring into the app from photos. You have the option to recreate them. There is no scientific data for the feature at the moment and that makes it useless for me. But if you've had better luck and have found the feature useful enough to boost your productivity, I'd love to hear it.